just as we have mentioned that the vast majority of tumors of the ovary, primary tumors, are epithelial and develop from a Mullerian sort of epithelium and can form either mucin, serous structures, be cystic, be papillary, be benign, be malignant, be borderline. The second most common overall classification of ovarian tumors are what we call germ cell tumors, or tumors of the actual ova themselves. And ova are toady potential cells. That's pretty obvious. They eventually give rise to everything in our body. So germ cell tumors are generally more interesting because they have a larger, wide variety of things to make other than just glands, which uh, Mullerian tumors generate. Germ cell tumors can also be benign and malignant. And the general rule is the more differentiated the structures are, the more likely it is to be benign. Another rule is, is that if the, uh, the two most common things that a teratoma of the ovary would make, which is a common germ cell tumor, is sebaceous material and hair. But here we could see bone, can't we? We could even see bone marrow. We could see cartilage, can't we? We could see little glands, can't we? We could see some type of muscle, perhaps smooth muscle, can't we? Let's go a little bit closer. I doubt if this is striated muscle. No, I'm sorry, it looks like it's bone. Uh, this is a typical uh, teratoma, benign teratoma. When it has a cystic configuration and, and creates a lot of uh, microscopic structures like sebaceous material, they're frequently called dermoid cysts. And uh, dermoid cysts are the most common type of ovarian tumor in a young woman. And they're always benign. So sometimes they're classified as cystic teratomas, you know, grade zero or grade one or very low grade. And once again, because this tissue is uh, of various types of tissue, we see epithelial, uh, sometimes you can see neural elements, we can see connective tissue, bone cartilage. The more these generally look like the substances which they're supposed to look like when they're fully differentiated, the more likely a teratoma is to be, no matter where it is in the body. And ovary is no exception. And thank you very much.